Dear students, welcome to my channel HSC English Version BD. Our today's topic is how to calculate the wavelength of the spectrum series of hydrogen atom. At first, look at these two energy level diagram of hydrogen atom. Actually, these two diagrams are the same. The only difference between these two diagram is their shape. The energy levels of this diagram are in circular shape. But the energy levels of this diagram are in straight line shape. To calculate the wavelength of a spectrum series, either we can use this diagram or we can use this diagram also. As it will be pretty easy to understand the spectral series from this diagram than this diagram. So instead of this diagram of hydrogen atom, we will use this diagram. Okay. Now look at the name of the spectral series of hydrogen atom here. Do you remember we have to memorize the name of the series serial wise. We have to have a crystal clear idea about the different different lines of different different series. And we have to be very careful about taking the values of N1 and N2 because for different different series we will get different different values of N1 and N2. Let us learn the tricks about how to memorize the name of the series serial wise. Now I want you to focus on this tricky sentence. Lamia Banu purchased a basket full of fruits. Here serial wise Lamia is for Lyman, Banu is for Bamar, Purchase is for Perchen, Basket is for Bracket and Fruits is for fund. See, this is the first energy level where n equals to 1. This first energy level is called Lyman's energy level. That's why serial wise the name Lyman comes first. This is the second energy level where n equals to 2. This second energy level is called Bummer's energy level. So serial wise the name Bummer is in the second position. This is the third energy level where n equals to 3. This third energy level is called Paschen's energy level. So serial wise the name Paschen is in the third position. In the same way we get these remaining two names. Okay. See all the electrons dropped here in this lower energy level from these higher energy levels. These series of spectral lines is called Lyman series. Again, these series of spectral lines will drop into the ultraviolet region. This energy level is the first line for Lyman series. This energy level is the second. This is third. This is fourth and so on up to infinity. Look at this formula now. For finding out the wavelengths of different different series of hydrogen atom, we use this formula. Now I want you to focus on this N1 and this N2. Here N1 equals to the value of lower energy level and N2 equals to the value of higher energy level. But the question is for Lyman series, what will be the value of this N1 and this N2? See. All the electrons dropped to this lower energy level and here the value of n equals to 1. So the value of this n1 will be equals to 1 here for Lyman series. But for Lyman series there are this higher energy level, this higher energy level and so on up to infinity. So for Lyman series we get n2 equals to this 2, this 3, this 4 and so on up to infinity. If we are asked to determine the wavelength of the first line of Lyman series, then the value of N2 will be equals to 2. Why 2? Because this is the first line of Lyman series where N equals to 2. Similarly, for the second line of Lyman series, the value of N2 will be equals to 3 and this will continue. Okay. Now I want you to focus on this Bummer series. See all the electrons dropped to this energy level. Therefore this second energy level is the lower energy level for Bummer series. As n equals to 2 here. 
so the value of n1 for bamar series will be equals to 2 this line is the first line for bamar series this energy level is higher energy level than this energy level see here n equals to 3 so for the first line of bamar series the value of n2 will be equals to 3 similarly we will get n2 equals to 4 for the second line of bamar series n2 equals to 5 for the third line of bamar series and this will continue okay all these spectral lines will drop into the visible region so in this region we can see the color of the wavelengths of all light okay my dear students try to find out the value of this n1 and this n2 for the different different lines of this series this series and this series at home just apply the same process that i showed you for this lyman and bamar series okay look at this tricky chart now we will get here all the informations of a spectral series at a time see for lyman series the value of n1 will be equals to 1 the value of n2 will be equals to 2 3 4 5 and so on according to the question and the region will be ultraviolet for bamar series the value of n1 will be equals to 2 the value of n2 will be equals to 3 4 5 6 and so on according to the question and the region will be visible for past chain series the value of n1 will be equals to 3 the value of n2 will be equals to 4 5 6 7 and so on according to the question here the region is infrared for bracket series the value of n1 will be equals to 4 the value of n2 will be equals to 5 6 7 8 and so on according to the question here the region is infrared for fund series the value of n1 will be equals to 5 the value of n2 will be equals to 6 7 8 9 and so on according to the question here the region is infrared also according to these series these are their first line number these are their second line number these are third and you know that this will continue by using all these informations of this chart we will solve this problem now calculate the wavelength of the third line in the bracket series for hydrogen where rh equals to 10.97 times 10 to the power 6 per meter look at these datas the third line in the bracket series see this is bracket series here n1 equals to 4 this 7 is the third line in the bracket series so this 7 is the value of n2 for bracket series the value of rh is given here if we put the value of rh n1 and n2 here in this formula of hydrogen atom then we will get the wavelength of the third line in the bracket series is equals to 2.1 times 10 inverse 6 meter okay but my dear students the question is that will we get enough time for solving such types of problems in the exam hall certainly not what will we have to do then we will have to use this tricky formula to find out the value of n2 easily n2 equals to n1 plus line number we will get the value of n1 from these serial numbers according to the name of this series and we will get the line number from the question look at this question again for bracket series serial wise the value of n1 equals to 4 put here the value 4 instead of this n1 look at here we are asked to determine the wavelength for the third line so we get the line number from here equals to 3 okay now put here the value 3 instead of this line number if we add this 4 with this 3 then we will get 7 see we have n2 equals to 7 here do remember we must not show this shortcut formula in our answer sheet okay
थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वाचिंग